Despite signs that inflation has started to recede, economists still expect higher interest rates to push the U.S. economy into a recession in the coming year. That's according to the Wall Street Journal in their latest quarterly survey. On average, business and academic economists polled by the journal put the probability of a recession in the next 12 months at a little over 60%. This week, a report from the federal government showed the rate of inflation declined for the sixth straight month, dropping to a year-over-year -year rate of 6.5%. Joining us now is David Peters, the founder and owner of David Peters Financial Group and Peters Tax Preparation and Consulting. David, thanks for being with us. Let's start with the big word, recession. A strong job market is good, but inflation is not. So will we see a recession in 2023? Well, so there's multiple definitions of the word recession. Technically speaking, only the MBER can really say that we are truly in a recession. But I have to be honest, I don't think it really matters. I think that people are feeling rising costs in their wallet and uh, the, are feeling the effects of inflation. So if it's not uh, sort of technically a recession, certainly it is recession-like. Right, right. Well, you know, inflation hitting people pretty hard. According to Moody's Analytics, the typical American is spending an extra $371 a month because of inflation. So do you see an end in sight? I, I think that we, there is an end in sight. I just don't think it's uh, maybe going to happen as fast as we would like it to. I mean, I, I think that you do see some signs uh, that inflation is slowing, but it is still really high. And right now it is outpacing wage growth. And when you have that happen, that means that people feel it uh, in their wallets even more. They get, their dollar just doesn't stretch as far. So I think that inflation is slowing. I think that you will see see an end, but it may not be until the back half of the year. And and so I think for a lot of folks, that's just not quite fast enough. Yeah, just going to have to tighten uh, the purse strings. Uh, on Friday, uh, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, though, warned that the U.S. government is on track to reach the debt limit by uh, Thursday. The debt ceiling was raised another two plus trillion last month. So how worried should average Americans be about the debt ceiling? I don't know that the debt ceiling is really going to affect uh, the average American a whole lot. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, for investors in U.S. Treasuries, I don't know that they necessarily have anything to worry about uh, there. However, you know, the, the issue is really around the abilities, uh, the ability of the United States to really expand. And so uh, if uh, the United States uh, has issues with the debt, the debt ceiling, it's going to inhibit their ability to expand and it's going to dampen GDP all that much more. Uh -huh. Well, David, what tips do you tell your clients as they try to navigate through these uncertain times? Well, I think the big thing right now is to just be patient and try to control costs. Uh, so don't take on debt when you don't have to. Uh, don't uh, take on uh, more costs than you have to right now. I mean, uh, right now things are costing more. Um, and also just to be patient. Uh, don't give up on the markets. Continue to invest, but just know that it is going to be a slow turn. It's not going to be something that we're going to be able to get out of right away. 2022, we had to be patient. In 2023, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to be even a little bit more patient. Okay, good advice. David Peters, thank you so much for joining us.